You know, I've been meaning to do this video for about two weeks now and I just never get round to it, so I'm getting round to it now. I want to talk about the recent resurgence of Dead Island 2 info. A game that many thought would never ever see the light of day. Including my good self or bad self. I remember the trailer that came out yonks ago. The one where the guy's running, he puts his music on and he's running down the street, looks at um, a beach. I think it's meant to be LA. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know where that is in LA. It's just near the near the pier with the big sort of merry-go-round thingy, the big sort of thingy thing wheel that goes running, running, running. Aye, that. And he's running, and he slowly turns into a zombie, and his hair peaceful, so off, and then he gets fucking splattered. Well, it sounded like Jack Black in a van playing well. Kind of just sounds like he's playing his cell, don't you think? I mean, it's Jack Black. He's not got a He's not got a great range when it comes to acting. He's a comedy actor. They also are. He's like a Ryan Reynolds. He just plays himself in every movie that he's in, no matter what it is. No matter what the situation is. Ryan Reynolds is Deadpool and Jack Black. Well, he just plays Jack Black. So this game was originally announced showing off. Was it around like 2014, 2015, something like that? Something not too far away but far away enough for it to have slipped out of the public consciousness almost like my own but the thing that kept this in my mind's eye was the fact that amazon and games still have pre-orders available for it with pre-order bonuses to no one's fucking surprise now this game was supposed to be made by techland and they had a fallen out with deep silver they pissed off and they made dying light which is now getting a sequel sometime soon maybe hopefully and then this moved to was it Jaeger who, people who made uh, Spec Ops The Line and now it's somewhere else so this is going to be an absolute shit show when it comes out I have absolutely no fucking qualms with that thought whatsoever it's going to be bollocks but I can't wait to see it because at least when it comes out it'll give us something to laugh at yes and I'm always up for a good comedy, even if it's an unintentional one. So a wee brief history of the Dead Island games that are four or five. So you get Dead Island, Dead Island Riptide, which was basically a standalone expansion for Dead Island. Then you get Escape Dead Island, which was, oh, fucking hell. Maybe they had a view for that, because it was so bad. Then when they re-released the Dead Island games in HD, or HD, HHD, HHHH, yeah, well, you get the point. They bundled in a game called Retro Revenge and I really enjoyed Retro Revenge. Think of it as a Streets of Rage meets Defender type game. You know your, your side scrolling shooters where you don't control the scrolling from left to right but you just have to fucking kill everything. That's what this is like only with fighting and you can like use special moves and you get weapons. And it's, it's just a good 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 time. So if you don't have that, didn't buy the, the re the remaster. Go get it because it's fun and it's probably going to be better than uh, Dead Island 2 is. So some images of Dead Island 2 have resurfaced, or not resurfaced, but surfaced like, you know, like a tolly on a beach after a whale has done like an epic shite after a good night out. And these things have just appeared out of fucking nowhere with a couple of screenshots and the title screen. And I must tell you, it's not looking the best. It looks like a fucking PS2 game. Lovely! Can't wait to try it this year if it's out this year or probably isn't. We're going to go for a next gen release here, boys. No, don't do that. Just release it in the current gen, which is backward compatible with the next gen anyway, so you could play it on a PS5 or an Xbox One X, SX, XS, SX. Oh, fuck's sake, see these names of these machines! People do my fucking boxing. And it's really Microsoft to blame for these fucking shit names. Just call it Xbox Scarlet, Xbox Tolly, Xbox fucking Double J Jobby Shit Edition. Okay! Now, if Crags from the past has been asked to get these photos, I will put them up on screen. They might have been up on screen already, I don't know. I'll see how I can be bothered with the editing process of this, right? But uh, either way, you will see screenshots of what has been thrown out into the Ethernet or Internet of Things and shit. I think there was leaked gameplay, so... But I don't know if that's true or not. Because I would hate to think if this has just been one big fucking epic troll, then it'd be kind of funny as well, because at least then I would need to play the shite and buy it and spend money on it, which is obviously what I'm going to be doing next. Let's hope it's got a really expensive collector's edition with a severed fucking head, like Dead Island Riptide did, when it wasn't a head, it was a dismembered fucking torso of a woman. Oh, that was so sick. Man, that was like one collector's edition I went, do you want this? No fucking no. Get a grip, you twat. 
the marketing man should have been fired that day, and I don't just mean fucking let go, I mean fired out of a cannon into the sun for that idea. So I we've got we've got mere Dead Island to look forward to, and then we've got Dying Light 2 to look forward to. Whenever that decides to happen, did you guys even enjoy Dead Island? I, I sorta of did in the 360 days. They re-released it on the PS4 and Xbox One as I've mentioned. Or did I mention that? I can't remember. I am not Mentioning it now. And I, it was a big improvement because it ran at, you know, locked 30 FPS as opposed to sub 30 FPS. It did most of the time. It was like 22 frames per second. Mate, I remember playing fucking things like Starwing and the SNES with Star Fox to you Yanks. And we played that at 12 FPS and no one batted a fucking eyelid. Now you've got cunts going, Ew, if it doesn't run at 135,000 FPS, you can't play the game. You just can't experience the way it's supposed to be experienced. Usually these people have got too much fucking money, can afford really expensive hardware, and in no way represent the gaming community at large. Okay! Man, I've got a lot of rage to get out today. I've got a lot of fucking rage. I tend to find I'll just fucking wolf on about any pish no matter what the video title suggests. But I did enjoy Dead Island, I enjoyed cutting them the fuck up. Fucking murdering these zombies that are already dead so it's no murder so it's absolutely morally okay. What you're actually doing is putting people to rest. You're putting them to rest because they're wandering about like brain dead fucking husks. Kinda like the way I am right now with life. Brain dead husks. Where all the best parts of life have fucking long been flushed down the toilet from my asshole. And I didn't intend for this to turn into a fucking therapy session either. But that's what video games can be good for. Rather than going out and killing everybody you dislike, which is not a good thing for anybody, you can come home in a rage, put on your favourite violent video game and then murder to your heart's fucking content, and then go to your bed a happier, more well-adjusted being. It's all about getting that rage out. Get it out. Do not bottle it up. Get it up, get it up, motherfucker. Uh, do you really care? Nah, me either. Wait, I'll see you on the next video. Adios! Ah!